So tell me, what is your love language? Not long ago, I attended a seminar given by a married couple that I admired tremendously. They were sharing a new way to communicate with people we love. Maybe communicate isn't the right word. It's more about listening with our hearts and recognizing and translating what they called someone else's love language. They introduced me to a book by Dr. Gary Chapman called The Five Love Languages, in which he identifies five different ways to express love to somebody through positive, affirmative words, giving gifts, helping and giving service to one another, physical expressions of love, and finally just spending quality time with somebody. What I'd never considered before I heard about this book was that one person's preferred way to express their love might be, I'll say, giving gifts to somebody who thinks love is best expressed by spending time together. So automatically two people who love each other are trying to say that in ways the other one doesn't recognize or truly appreciate. My friends challenged all of us in the seminar to start trying to identify other people's love language. Do they say encouraging things? Then maybe that's what they need to hear themselves. Do they rarely say, I love you, but quietly bring you a cup of tea or pitch in to wash the dishes? Well, it was an eye-opener for me. I have a friend who would rather die than actually say the words, I love you, Martha. But the kind things she does for me express her friendship and her affection all the time. And when I started listening, I began to hear I love you in every good deed she did. And one morning not long ago, I turned to my eight-year-old as she was walking out the door and I blurted out, I love you so much, honey. And being eight years old, of course, and very grown up, she stopped and turned around and said, Mommy, you want to watch High School Musical with me? And with my new listening habit, I really heard her saying, I love you too, and I want to spend time with you. Well, it won't surprise you to hear that the way I find myself expressing love most frequently is through, well, words of encouragement. Some people can't find the words, but they can find the time, or they love to give gifts. One wife at the seminar shared that she would rather get the words, but her husband would rather give the gifts. So they've started learning at least to speak each other's language. And it's significantly improved their relationship and their understanding and acceptance of the other. Try it. Check out Gary Chapman's book and see if it makes a difference in your relationships. It made a difference for me with my family, and it even changed a few memories. When I was growing up, I don't remember my mother spending a lot of fun time with me. She was a businesswoman, and, well, she was all business most of the time. I would have loved to spend more time with her just doing girl stuff together, but I didn't get that, and sometimes I guess I probably took it personally. But I was going through some old boxes yesterday, and I discovered dozens and dozens of old files from her house, files about me, every report card, every letter from every teacher, every savings account, and every doctor bill, photos and cards, college loan applications, and everything was carefully and neatly filed away in folders and three-ring binders with tabs and reference numbers, very, very businesslike, and yet everything filed with love in the best language she knew how to speak. And after all these years, I have finally learned how to listen. See you soon.